Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Provincial Domain Wiesingen. Please don't hate me for however I said that because it's in Dutch and I don't speak Dutch. I don't know how you say it in French. Anyway, we're here. We just got here. We parked right here and we're gonna go see all the cool stuff. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this place and how amazing it is. I can tell already it's gonna be so cool. So here we go. There's all kinds of information right here at the entrance. And so you can look through that to see if you do or don't need to do any of the things that they're saying, because I didn't know the words, but the pictures helped. So right now you can get in for free, but here's a list of stuff um, because you start paying on April 1st and it is still March. So this is here to pay and they do take cards, hooray. And then you just come through the turnstiles. All right, when you walk in, there is totally a map here with everything you need to know. There's also a bunch of like paper forms. And so you can take a look at where you are and where you want to go. So we're not doing sports today. We're skipping that part. I don't think we're gonna do mini golf. We might walk over there because we do wanna see the park. We wanna see the pond, the chateau, all of that stuff. So that's really what we're here for. And I'll let you know how everything goes. So we're about to head on down this way and take a look. Okay, we made it down the hill, this beautiful building. I don't know what it is. That's okay though. And they're so excited for the park. They have jet off, which is totally fine. There's bathrooms right here in this white building to the right. So that's nice. And I'm gonna go watch them play. So I don't know if this is for people or not or what the deal is. I don't understand the signs, but there, there's a duck playing on it too. If anything, I'm guessing this is for like summertime sport. Um, it's just not open now maybe. So I don't know, I'll have to look at more about that. We're heading over to the playground and where there's a trampoline I hear. Other cool stuff here. My kid just ran off. That is paid activity, it's also not open right now. More cool stuff and other people on those things. Just in case it's not clear, they are very much so loving this place. They just went to the slides. They wanna go over to the ropes. There is um, mini cars, it's just not open right now, but it looks like you just buy your tickets over here from the machine when it is open, so that's cool. And that is right here, kind of still in the middle of all this stuff. Okay, so the bathrooms are nice, they're clean, they're decent, there's lots of stalls, and an air dryer. Ooh. You okay? There's one right here behind where they were sliding next to this go-kart area. There's also the tables if you want to have lunch over here too since it is covered. Um, there are people here eating just a minute ago. We're gonna actually go now and like go on the trails and do a little more hiking instead of just me sitting watching them go on sleds. I don't even know if we're doing this right. We're full on just hiking up the hill. I'm pretty sure there's a path. My kids are just running. Look at that. Running for that playground. Yes, there's obviously, very obviously a path <laughs> right there. But there's like this cool thing out in the middle. So I mean, I guess it's cool, right? That they just do what they're doing. It is so pretty from up on these paths. <clears throat> the kids are going up, not on this paved one. They're going, there's one kid. They're going on the one on this side of this dead tree. And there's more playgrounds up there, so I'm gonna go find them and follow them. You guys can split up, try different directions, see what happens. I see the cool flowers. I've actually never seen these yellowy ones before. The paths totally diverge. These are so cool. I'm like in love with in love with them all. Right here is a park. There's a fence and we can't get into it. We have to go back down and then back up. <laughs> oh gosh. There they go. They don't mind. Well, we got in. We found it. We were literally just standing on the other side of those hedges in this little fence area. It's right here. They're pretty happy. This is cool. Just to show a little more detail on this wall, like you can go up all of these edges. There's rock climbing there. So like depending on the age and size, there's like a rope one, there's ladders, there's poles to slide down. This is very intriguing, definitely a kind of an adventure for all ages right here in these entrances if you don't want to go around like I'm about to right now. Obviously in love. 
of that guy. I am shocked no one is over there yet. Okay, my kids are ahead of me. We had a little bit of a, a tumble and a fall, so we're actually heading back down. Um, you can see it's gorgeous. We're walking through the botanical garden area here, like in the center. Um, so we're gonna keep making our way down. They do wanna go see the farm animal. I cannot get over how beautiful it is in this area. Like, look at this, isn't it gorgeous? And you can walk through all of it. There's these paths to go through. So we're making our way down. Um, we did not make it up to the top up here. There's like the pool area, I think, or something up there and more hiking. We're just making our way down here. I think this is a really good time of year. The bluebells are also starting to come up. We just saw some up behind where those ducks are. There was some bluebells, so really good time, I think. And if anything, you're gonna get more blossoms like on your cherry blossom trees, like right there. Um, so yeah, spring. Definitely come and take a look at this place. I'm sure it's still pretty year round, but wow, we're really loving this whole park. Yes, I'm continuing to awe over the trees and the flowers and how pretty it is here. Man, give it like two more weeks, it's gonna be amazing. Plus look at this, like how incredible is this view? Okay, I'm doing my very best, my phone is dying. This is the area with all of the animals. We're gonna go take a look. But do I see anything here? Oh, it's a parakeet. Oh, you see them flying? And here's the peacocks checking out the roosters. Oh, they're so nice. Keep your hands back though. Hello, roosters. I want a rooster. Can I take you home with me? Wait, these are roosters? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that one's the master. He might be. Wow, he's beautiful. Oh my gosh. The roosters are very active and chatty. And there's, or the hens, or different kinds of, I don't know. I really think that's roosters and that's hens. You can totally correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. We did find the goats and the sheep are behind them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're coming to say hi. Oh my gosh. I can't even handle how cute they are. My kid being a goat, watch out. Take a step back, still be safe. And there's sheep all the way back there. I don't know if my phone will survive, but there are sheep. Oh wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're up here by the sheep. There's lots of sheep. He's coming to say hi. Hi sheep. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, I love it. Oh. There's one of the horses, we found them. We had time to come down here. There's the other horse. The sheep and the goat is fighting over there. We watched them for a few minutes right there at the fence fighting. You see them? They're fighting through the fence. Whoa! Oh my gosh. They're crazy. Yeah, they were headbutting each other through the fence. My phone survived down to 1%, so we made it back to the car. It is just getting cold, and we've been here for a good three hours. We could easily stay longer. Hands down, we could stay probably two more hours without any problem. Just time to go home, hungry, all that kind of stuff. So. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys around next time. Bye!